Hey there, it's Danielle Smith. It is kind of hard for me to believe that I have been doing these vlogging tips for the better part of the last six months. We're halfway through the year. I committed to doing two of these uh, vlogging tips every single week and so far, um, with a, just a few exceptions, we've had tips for you. And what I wanted to do was do a quick compilation of our top five, or the five tips that seem to get the best reaction and seem to be the ones people needed the very most. So here goes. Today, we're talking about distractions because, well, they happen. So if they fall into the category of what it is you are talking about on any given time, go ahead and keep it in. If they don't, then you do have to find a quiet place to be able to do a video on your own. Right now, you have me pretty much in the center of your screen. I could be to the left in case you're wanting to reference something behind, or maybe what I need to show you is on this side. You know, it's also okay to zoom in. And you can cut your head off a little bit, just try not to do that with your chin. I know a lot of people, me included, think, I would love to just get on camera and talk about a particular topic today, but look at me. I haven't done my hair, I haven't showered, I don't have any makeup on, so here's the deal. Don't worry about it, throw a hat on. People will get to know you and they will trust that sometimes you look fantastic and sometimes you just look like you and that's completely okay. Don't be afraid to show the real you to the people who are watching your videos. That's your audience. These are the people you're connecting with. Trust that they trust you. How long should your videos be? Well, if you think about a traditional news segment, you're gonna realize that they are never more than two to two and a half minutes and two and a half to 2.45 gets to be on the longer side. Why? Because people don't have the full attention span. So make sure that you are trying to be as succinct as possible and you're trying to grab people's attention right when you get into the beginning. So think about aiming for one and a half minutes. Maybe Set the camera down. See, because when you're holding the camera for yourself, you tend to do a lot of this and you tend to go upside down and the angle is never quite right. You know what I mean? Really simple, inexpensive options. This is called a Gorilla Pod, and it can bend and hook onto things. This was, I believe, $10. You can also get a tripod relatively inexpensively at a Target or a Walmart, and those run, you know, $15 to $20. How do you get rid of the butterflies? You don't. If you have butterflies, if you are nervous about doing something, that's good. Embrace those butterflies because that means you care about what you are doing. And those butterflies will serve to give you a renewed sense of energy that you wouldn't have had any other way. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for coming back. It's Danielle Smith TV on Twitter if you'd like to follow me there and have conversation. Or you can always email me at Danielle at ExtraordinaryMommy.com. You guys have a great week.